why don't we why don't we stop beating around the bush here and let's just quickly hop right into game two shall game we? number two pat on victor alex on ira after winning with dromai is now on to the next hero in this gauntlet if alex wins this game they have won the series they're starting off that is correct here comes a kadachi for one with go again Whelming gust wave was pitched. Looks like their second Kadachi turn zero. Pat's following. taking damage. Yes, Pat sure is. Um, he says, "I like these cards. I don't want to not have these cards." But you know, what? you can have this blue pummel. And you know, I'm going to go ahead and uh, make a wager with you right now. I bet there Pat will not block a Kadachi for one until they are at two health. That's what I'm going to say. A called shot right now, but we do see that red surging strike coming in. That's a heck of a follow-up. Wow. Looks like... Oh, and he's blocking... Coming down. He's blocking seven. Mm. Flick flack revealed that wins, will not earn a goal. Wins the little clash. Hey. The natural whelming gust wave. Oh my goodness! That's feeling good by Kadachi now. Coming in for four on hit draw card. That was gross. You know that was sometimes. Crazy. Sometimes you just have the nuts, and this was one of those times where Alex and Ira had the nuts. Uh, but we are through that turn zero. Uh, back over to past turn. Boulder drop coming down. What can you tell me about this card, William? It looks strike. This is a great to you. card. Dude, this is a yeah, yeah, yeah. This is a <laughs> I appreciate that. Uh it, it this is a great card in this matchup, right? So it is saying, you know, it's it's only five, and if you block literally just two of it, it has no on hit effect. Mm -hmm. but, but we do know Pat's Ross, and we also know that you have to block this. If you don't block this, it put a card back on top of your deck. Yeah, and here's the pummel. This is saying put a card back on top of your deck and discard a card from pummel. This little baby five attack turned into a monster, but now flick flack blocking four. So the pummel will hit and make him discard a card, but the uh, boulder drop won't hit. Wow. But the main point is getting cards out of these ninjas' hands. Make them make their turns as not scary as possible. Back over to Alex. Yeah. they've got. Pat had a four card hand and he, th yeah, go Sorry, ahead. I was just so excited to see if Pat's going to, oh, they did not <laughs> block. They are taking this Kadachi. For wow. You, you're right. Wow, I'm the smartest man to ever cast a clash bash top eight game. Maybe it's, maybe it's, you're just such a good friend and you know, you know, you know what he's going to do. Yeah. Just on the same wavelength as you're on his as level. Good old Patty. That's a fact. That second Kadachi seems to have connected as well. Uh, Pat valuing having those cards wow. and really wanting to just present, uh, you know, at at the risk of being uh, too cliche, just wanting to crush Alex. And so you need cards in hand to do that. You got to have these on hit effects or you're just not going to win the game. But speaking of an on hit effect, this is an interesting one. It's a Miller's Grindstone for four. Yeah, you know, they say uh, there's no time quite like Miller time. And in this case, if you don't block, uh, you have great potential for losing the top card of your deck. <laughs> True. It's not quite the on-hit effect you kind of want uh, as a Guardian going into the ninja, right? Because if a ninja has a big explosive turn, they can take over the entire right. game. I mean, that first turn, Pat only ended up throwing nine damage off of four cards. But it reduced the ninja down to having only three damage on their turn. Mm -hmm. Right, so it's all about it's all about mitigating uh, the damage out of these aggro decks. Mitigating risk, you might say. Yeah, managing. Indeed. Well, it appears though again the Kadachi for one uh, drew blood, and I uh, will think, and if they want to take two, I uh, don't love taking two, but you know. Man. Yeah, Pat's been bleeding over turn over turn. He's already down to 15. Hmm. And now he's down to 13. Yep, accepting it. Seemingly trying to call the bluff of Alex Ooh. here. But, you know, this is no bluff. This is a uh, scary situation to be in because you don't want to just give a ninja free go again. 
But the four attack is an awkward break point. Is it too early to commit armor blocks? Maybe. Uh, it is interesting. Alex is like, I'm not, you're not the only one with on hits. Check this out. Mm-hmm. And who knows? I could arsenal this card or I could play it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he could be an arsenal card. It could just be a card that he's going to play. It could, yeah, it could just be a card he wants to arsenal anyways. Like it could right. be a very hollow on hit, but you got to kind of respect it a little bit. And that's what Pat's doing. He's mulling over this. Boy, and there there it is. Block four. Yep. Providing a quicken token to Alex, you know, uh, a class and a with might. A, yeah. uh, a lot of on hits and a lot of go again. Well, not, uh, a lot of go again, less relevant on hits, I would say. Um, still scary stuff possible, though. Let's see how... I don't think Pat dropped a single card out of his hand turn, so he could just be about to pop right. off right here. Not outside the realm of possibility. You know, uh... Macho Grande! You know, and the, oh my the gosh! variety as well. This was the art that you posed for, you told me, right? Back for Everfest, that was part <laughs> of your spoiler. Yeah, I, I very specifically opposed for, uh, for Andy, who did the art for it. Uh, <laughs> he had to take a few liberties when doing it. <laughs> yeah, the, it's the beard was really the thing that they had to exaggerate. Oh, that, but, yeah, that was it. Yeah, sure. <laughs> no pummel. No pummel. Other than in the, the pitch. Uh, yeah. But holy frick. You know, for being a big scary attack that it really only brought Alex down to 11, I I don't know how Pat would be feeling in this situation. I would be feeling uh, pretty Ooh. precarious here. This is so interesting. Okay, so Ira gets the plus one from uh, the might token and gets the go again from the quicken token. Rising knee thrust coming in as a zero for four with go again. It doesn't have any on hits, but like the next card... You know, could it be blackout kick? Would be insane. Yeah. Granted, <laughs> yeah. I mean, was just able to happen. That wouldn't yeah, be the yeah, first yeah. time we've seen the natural combo in Alex's hand. Well, the first turn he did surging strike into whelming. Right. So there's no reason why it wouldn't happen right now. Yeah. Pat, yeah. Pat throwing the refrigerator at this one. Oh. As it should. If a ninja breaks into my house, I'm throwing a fruit. Oh my gosh! <laughs> but he's too fast. <laughs> nope. The reflexes. He's got razor are, reflexes. Are razor Alex coming back. out. <laughs> For seven. Pumping that up to seven. Oh. Giving it second go again. Interesting. I think they were really valuing the Vest of the First Fist activation because now here comes a torrent oh. of tempo with one resource extra floating. And I believe they have a, uh, I believe they have a card in hand. I could be wrong. Oh my gosh! On Hank Hogan, five damage. He blocks it out. Oh, I was I was mistaken. No card left in hand. But Pat said, "No, I don't want you to have any more go again because then I'd be forced to take no, another no, Kadachi for one." And we all know Pat's taking the Kadachi for one. <laughs> Oh, wow. Okay, coming out with a concuss. Uh, just a flat six at this point. Yeah, but this one screams pummel me. Does he have the cards to pummel? No, I don't believe they do. They threw a lot of cards and uh, uh, mechanical pieces down to block that last attack. They may have the pummel in hand, but it's probably just going to go in their pocket for next round. Gods above and below willing they're able to make it that far because... Depending on the cards Alex has, they could uh, somewhat reasonably, you know, maybe just toss their hat out in front of this and then say, that's fine. I'll take five, go to six. And then I've yeah. got a, a gnarly turn to present you and then just keep, yeah. keep Pat on the back foot from there on out. You got to be careful though. Like if you go down that low. Never mind. They're going down that low. Uh, no, nope, <laughs> they're going. Nothing to, no, no, sir. No brakes. All gas. A hundred percent cocaine fueled crimson rage. That's <laughs> that's what this is going to be. 
Well, this turn better be fire, right? So you go down to five against uh, Victor. You know, a Golden Sun could easily come in for 10 overpower, and that could be the game. So you got to be careful. They've saved one block on their hat, um, but that would not be enough to save them, especially considering the the surplus of pummels uh, hat packs with them. Well, as I have, you know, the shot that I called seems to still potentially be working. They threw their hat in front of the first Kadachi, but it was a Kadachi for two um, because of that might token. And, yeah. and now they took the second Kadachi, uh, but here goes a head jab for three with go again. Uh, Got every single line, every single, every single move in his playbook. I've we've seen all three lines, yeah, uh, the original ninja lines in this deck, which I think is very interesting. It is. It's fun to see those, uh, you know, lesser played combo lines played out in this instance, especially because it. This is interesting. It yeah. seems like uh, you know I'm not much of a ninja player, but this does not strike me as the typical Ira value deck. This seems to be a little more aggressively slanted. I could be very wrong. Whoa. So this is interesting. Yeah. We got a whirling mist blossom. Yep. The the Iris spec coming down here. Coming in just for two, so but this it says if whirling mist blossom hits. Two. Two, yeah. Here's your cat. It's implying it's another razor re reflex. Go. I can feel it. Yeah, pups, pups over here, heckin' pissed. So let me at him. I cannot believe Actually, they I don't just played think that. He's got any resources floating. He might not be able to. Yeah, I don't think he is able to react to this. They've got the breaking scales. This might just, but that would not be enough. To... I tell you, it didn't happen, but I would have loved to have seen a lunging press and a breaking scales there to go over the top of that block. That would have absolutely <laughs> made my life. That would have been funny. But that was not. Well, I don't think you can use the breaking scales, but. Oh, no. Another macho. Oh, no. oh. This could be it. Yeah. No, it, it couldn't. Uh, with the headpiece, if you have a block three, you should be fine. But holy frick. Blocking, blocking four of the <laughs> we're down to one and now we're in lunging press territory Ooh. oh my gosh <laughs> oh, yeah but the other way this is great <laughs> it's a tough place to be in you don't ever like being in unfortunately I, unfortunately i don't yeah i don't i don't want to like spoil anything for you but uh i don't think either of our players are running lunging press this game you know I reviewed the deck lists and I've already forgotten what I saw on the deck lists, but I'm going to choose to believe that there's there's a chance that maybe <laughs> one of them is running lunging press. There's Somebody wise chance, once yeah. said, "You need only to believe if you wish to achieve. Unless you play Fluster Fist, then you just have to do that." Uh, and turns out that's what they're doing: Fluster Fist for five, uh, taking advantage of Ira's ability. You have to block this because it gets plus one from breaking scales should they want it to. And that's exactly lethal. So yep. you definitely have to block this, but you're also probably thinking about the razor reflex. You've only seen one and this card doesn't have go again. Presenting blocks here. It looks like four of the five is being sent was blocked. You know, and uh, I unfortunately have to eat my words because that first Kadachi was blocked. Well, I guess I'll just see myself out, but, you know. Oh. When in Rome. Yep. Second Kadachi coming in well, for one. So the first Kadachi was blocked by, uh, yeah, true. So, so to recap the turn, he blocked the first Kadachi with uh, his boots the uh, Civic Steps, which gives the Ira a quick token. That's how they're able to play the Fluster Fist with Go again into a Kadachi, into an open the center. This is just it's a lot of cards it's asking for. Yeah. It's damage. That's what it is. This is lethal damage coming across. And Pat says, you know what? That's fine. 
I will give you the exact amount of black value that you are presenting in defense. Leaving them with one card. Leaving up the combat chain here. And my Pyra money. has no more block on their equipment. And yeah. Yeah, no. This no, weapon's coming in for four. No more block on anybody's equipment, which is which is noteworthy. That can't save you anymore. You need to make do with the cards you have in hand. And it's it's Miller time. So time to time Miller's to, also doesn't yeah. Sorry, what were you saying about that hammer there? Miller's no more on hit effect, just on hit death. That's what I'm saying. Ah, indeed. All of a sudden, on you know, hit you know that's, a, that's a good way to make on hit effects irrelevant by just getting yourself, just turboing yourself to one and then saying, I don't care because uh, if you hit me anyway, I'm dead. So. <laughs> Doesn't that uh, make it not, the worst on hit effect? It, you know, you know this the is most not, dangerous. Uh, this is not legal advice. <laughs> <laughs> the most high value on hit effect is you don't have to play the game anymore. You won. You know, some might say that. They're probably correct. Old Patty Shaw took this first Kadachi this turn. Second Kadachi for two coming across. There's only one more card in Iris' hand because they had to block with two cards last turn because of this hammer. Uh, Pat's coming up with a value... They are earning himself a uh, might token off of that uh, clash of might. Indeed, torrent of tempo is the follow up. Torrent of tempo coming in five. On hit, go. So they game. keep this up. Alex will be able to chip Pat down bit by bit because uh, they're going to take three cards out of his hand. He'll have one left to swing the hammer with. But even still, it's a spot for both players. It is. It is a tough spot. Yeah, I agree, pup. What's going to be in? Consulting the the yard is Patty Shaw. And, you know, it's hard to tell from this angle, but both decks are looking, uh, boy, yard. pretty pretty thin. Um, I, it almost looks like yeah. uh, Alex is ahead on cards right now. Um. Which I suppose makes sense. Just the value of being able to pitch to your Kadachis, especially with Ira, uh, is quite good. And, you know, when you present these awkward breakpoints and you're getting into low levels of life, you've got to commit cards to blocking, which is what Pat Shaw did there. And now, you know, it's Miller time. Once again, Macho Grande being pitched. Might Token is making that uh, that bubbly hammer there for five. Yep, so we got a block for three, and it looks like a block for two with the Flick Flack. Blue Flick Flack. He's just eating away at that deck. Yeah. Tough spot to be in. Okay, clashing. Interesting thing, Fire coming too, back from, from the, the same clash old play. Last Kadosh for turn. one. Yeah. Uh, from that clash last turn, uh, Whirling Mist Blossom was revealed. So Pat knows that is in hand as well, and that's a good way to, to strip more cards out of Pat's hand. That's, that has to be the last card in his hand, right? I do believe so. I think as Ira, you need to throw it, right? Oh, Arsenal. You know, Interesting. You know, that's what I would have done, but I wonder if they think – being able to have maybe an extra card to throw before that one is greater value help truly reduce, truly just uh, cut holes in Pat's hand. Oh, he's breaking the gold token. See if he can get more. Mine token pops. There it is. Debilitate off of the gold token. He was able to basically make a resource by drawing an extra blue. Now he's able to throw eight Nine damage off of the might token. This is completely going to swing the game back around to Pat. Yes, this is a major tempo swing here. This could be the entire hand. The on hit 
for debilitate is very relevant. Even if it's just stopping that first Kadachi, it's it's basically free real estate that Pat has earned themselves with. I think at this point, the on hit is stopping all the Kadachis. You know, some might say that. <laughs> it would be po- it potentially make sense uh-huh. that <laughs> being dead would prevent you from being able to swing a Kadachi. Three, seven. Uh, definitely enough. It looks, looks like, like they blocked for. Uh, being able to oh, flip back around here with a one-two punch. My favorite YouTube, my favorite flesh and blood YouTube channel. One-two yeah. punch. One-two punch is great. I think one of the members of one-two punch is going to be commentating the world premiere in Tokyo. For oh, that's so, I'm so excited for that. Honestly, so uh, coming in with the test of strength. I believe that is the last copy of Test of Strength in the deck. Which is great. It completely replaces him- itself. Pat's got a four-card hand coming into this turn and was still able to block that out. Pitching to the gold. Yep. It could be almost anything, and it just wins the game. It truly could be. He could do pummel shenanigans. He's got Macho Grande. A lot of options. The world is his cloister. Uh, wrong card game. Oh, forgive me. The world is his <laughs> Mothman, but he's instead playing Chokeslam. <laughs> I can't even say wrong card game because that one doesn't hardly exist anymore. <laughs> now, does it? <laughs> Chokeslam for eight. Pat's still got a card in hand. They do. Only one floating. Uh, could this be the proverbial lunging press? Proverbs if so, two. If so, we're gonna need to get a judge on scene. Proverbs two sixteen. <laughs> always respect the lunging press. <laughs> and it looks like they're doing just that. Three cards down from hand. If my squinty-eyed mental math is right, they should have blocked for nine there. Pat drawn back up. Like and like, boy, really, really skinny decks here. Uh, at this stage, I. Would not be shocked if, unfortunately, Pat just dies to fatigue at this point, because I'm not sure what other outs Pat might have. Wisdom will deliver thee from the strange woman, even from the stranger who flattereth with her words. You know, some refer to <laughs> Ira as the strange woman. It's the strange woman. <laughs> They're whirling mist blossoms, flattering me with words. Oh my goodness. Oh man. Uh the Kadachi for one deliberating here whether or not to uh to, to, <laughs> to block here. Uh <laughs> I I would I do not relish or envy rather the situation Pat has found them in. And I you know, to be honest, I don't know there's much way they could have avoided it. I don't think I'd put relish on anything going on here. You know, truthfully not. I could go for uh maybe some nice uh you know, chop dill pickles, but blue cheese, you know, uh, <laughs> this is maybe the, not the context for blue cheese. Oh, fair know. enough. Fair enough. Patty Shaw's getting ranched pretty hard right here. <laughs> and, uh, you know, I, it's a sad time when you see red macho grande be blocked with, cause that's a perfect finisher for this type of situation. But, uh, when Ira has several cards in hand and they've got three damage coming right out of the gate at you, it's hard to justify keeping those cards. So, you know, everything's on the line right here, right? So this is – Alex has already won game one. If Alex wins this game, they move on to top four. Yeah. You know, Pat's Pat's got to play this careful. He's got to play it smart in the top eight of the ranch bash. And oh, my gosh, the Golden Sun. <laughs> Oh, it's not on line, though. <laughs> oh, man. I bet when Patty drew up that last hand, he was kicking himself after eating that gold to filter cards. Um, but sometimes that's the that's the, the gamble you got to make. You know, you you want to try and yeah. find that uh, that pummel that would have fit that hand well, but it wasn't there. But sending seven did eat three cards. Seven's- yeah. Uh, I believe we still know Alex's arsenal, right? It's still the uh, it, 
Whirling it Mist Blossom? It should still be Whirling Mist Blossom, unless I totally had some sort of uh, boy mental episode where I thought I saw Whirling Mist Blossom and I did not. Uh, that should, emphasis on should, be what is in their arsenal. Another block coming down to stop that second Kadachi. That's blocking out. Yeah. Oh, and, you know, there it is. There it is. If this hits and it's the second or higher. Asking for a little bit of tempo bank. bank. In a row to hit. Draw two cards. I think Pat knew that this wasn't, or this was an option. So that's why they've been blocking more liberally, not wanting to leave that online. But still saying I would really rather not yeah. go to two. Oh, no, Ira, your deck. It looks like it's only two cards. It looks uh, quite thin, and that may be, you know, maybe it, to no – the surprise of especially not Greg, but maybe to no one else, it looks like I may have misjudged the, the girthiness of those decks. This Miller's Grindstone uh, may be – doing the work that it that it needed to i mean it's still coming in for four that's a huge break point when you're at one life pat asking to know how many reactions he's got left in his deck looks like there may still be a razor reflex could be a razor floating. reflex if two were brought in again there could be a lunging press floating could be a short <laughs> i don't think this will <laughs> there's a short and stop in the list a sh short and sharp short in the list and stop. which it which works on weapons it do. gives a plus three that's that's lethal if you don't block out a one attack all right more blocks coming out saying kadachi this mother trucker alex is saying i'm trying to okay just let me kadachi you and pat's not having it I'm not a truck driver. Honk, honk. <laughs> oh. That chain has been closed. Oh my gosh, these decks are just infinite. I feel like I feel like every time I look at them, it looks like there's only one card left, and then they draw to four. Yeah, I uh, Miller's grindstone coming in for four. Sure is. Block coming down. Blue flick flack. Flick, flick this. Flack. flack that. Block in five. Respecting the lunging breath. As the gods intended. <laughs> There's no lunging press. <laughs> oh, man. Kadachi. It's Kadachi season. It truly is. Strange women and their mall swords. <laughs> and their were and their was it their their salty words was that what they said? <laughs> With their uh where did you go? <laughs> Lou Flusterfist coming through. Who flattereth with their words. Flattereth words. Man. Ira flattering words. Oh my gosh, what is this? The Razor Reflex? It's the Razor. It's going to deal two at this point. Oh. Oh, and Breaking Scales. It's going to deal three at this point? That uh, danger. Danger zone. We're going off the rails to the danger zone. Everyone's at one. Man. They say there's no excitement. But the fact that Alex has no cards in deck creates a great amount of excitement for me personally. Because they have to commit two cards here. Were those oh, the only two cards no. in their hand? <gasps> oh my. I think so. And That's it. Pat just drew their final anymore. four. Oh my. Good golly goshers. It's Miller time, everybody. And with that, Spe Patty Sean, take the W. <laughs> Speaking of uh, the final four, it looks like Pat's trying so hard to claw into it. There's only one more game, winner takes all, in the Clash Bash. Top eight, first round, Alex versus Pat, going to game three.
I was William from the Table Pit, where we do in-person UPF gameplay videos. Uh, Greg, uh, it was a pleasure to work with you. Yeah, thank you so where much. Where can people find yeah, you? Yeah, Greg, a.k.a. Darth Prentice, on the Twitters, on the YouTubes. I'm all about uh, unofficial PvE, Twitch streams, and edited gameplay on YouTube. Check me out there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you can tune in to the rest of the Top 8 Clash Bash right here. 